right, so fourth time's the charm. I'm gonna go mail these off. And then we're gonna talk mini comics. All right, so that was a success. I mailed off all those uh, those envelopes. I think it was seven or eight envelopes in total. I know I, I did, uh, after that, I did mail off another one. And just a few days ago, I sent off a different uh, envelope. I've been going to the post office quite a few uh, times this uh, this month. <laughs> so that was actually about two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> just uh, I just got uh, no, I just got busy uh, doing other stuff and and just focusing on not just comics but you know drawing some other things. Also just you know regular life stuff, uh, working uh, things like that. All good stuff that didn't stop me from creating I, I still spend time uh, you know a little time each day making something or working on something I, I think there's maybe just one or two days where I didn't really do a lot uh, but I've already been <laughs> been working or not even working I mean I, I don't consider it work I mean I do work on on my craft but I mean it's something I like doing so I don't consider it uh, work so rambling aside i want to officially start the 30 days of making mini comics uh, i am going to be talking about uh, a comic i just did and uh so this is gonna be kind of a cheat uh because i'm not actually gonna be uh doing the comic that i'm gonna be working on right now uh i, I will be doing that off screen off camera but uh, i want to show you something that i have already done because uh, I, I do get this question. I, I think I got this question on one of my videos uh, maybe like early in the month or last month. Um, you know, do you need to be good at drawing to, to make a comic? And uh, when you're just starting, and also depends, you know, like, you know, if you're doing it for yourself or you're just doing something just to kind of do it or you want to try it uh no i mean you you don't really need to to be a a, a professional artist or even like a, a a good artist just uh just just draw something start something uh, so recently i did a, i think it was like a few weeks ago i i did a four page comic uh that's four pages of story and I also did, uh, it will be the front cover and the back cover. And I did it in stick figures. It's it's all, all stick figures. Uh, I did the panels. Uh, I, I put in screen tones just to make it a little bit more professional. But uh, that comic was never going to be printed as a stick figure comic. But it can be. Uh, if I wanted to, I could just... Hey, look, I just made a, a stick figure comic. Uh, check it out. What do you think? Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I, I did that for different reasons. Uh, one, it's good practice. It actually, uh, it can get you out of a rut, even if you've been doing comics for, for a little while. You've been just drawing for, for, for a while. or uh, You just want to try something new. Or you know what? Uh, Want to cut down on time? Uh, I ended up using those as uh, thumbnails. Yeah, so just do a, a, a stick figure comic. But what I would recommend if you're trying to improve, start off with stick figures. Do one page. You know, you're just starting off. Do do a uh, a stick figure comic strip. Then finish it. You know, and then you know now you can go over it. You can take those stick figures. And start fleshing them out. You can just uh, start drawing more detailed, you know, uh, face, you know, uh, you know, more detailed face, uh, body, clothes. You, know, you can do some backgrounds. You don't have to do backgrounds right away, but it is something you know you, uh, that even me, I, like I'm, I'm working on that, <laughs> uh, doing more more backgrounds because I tend to just kind of like uh, not do them because I'm not good at them. <laughs> I think that might be for another video. I think I think I should do a video where I just practice doing backgrounds. And there's uh, 
And so yeah, so I so I did this stick figure comic. Um, I'm gonna show it here. So I started doing these pages. I, I I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was just kind of just just drawing to to draw something. So I just did some panels. And I was looking at it. It kind of looked like maybe an an action comic, and that got me thinking to like, well, I can it can be a superhero comic. I, I only plan to do. Uh, four pages. I did do five pages. There, there is the first page. I ended up not using, but that actually helped me, uh, and you know, kind of gave me the idea to to do the other stuff that that I ended up doing. Uh, so, so yeah, like the first thing you draw doesn't have to be the thing you use. And as I was doing the pages, I liked how where it was going. I named the superhero character, and you know. It just kind of reminded me of an old uh, Mexican TV show that, that I used to watch as a kid, El Chapulín Colorado, uh, done by Chespirito. So that was a, a little homage uh, to, to that character. It's a, a childhood character. It's uh, something that I grew up on. I went back, fleshed it out, I added more details, and uh, at this time I'm doing a manga, so I did that in, in a more uh, manga-esque style. I don't know if it qualifies as an official manga, but I try to do it in a, a simple style which actually for me is a little bit more difficult because even when you're doing something uh, simplistic you still have to follow uh, some rules but that's where the stick figures uh, you know came in handy uh, I just used those as my guidelines I went back and I added, uh, added more details I added screen tones uh, you know just you know little touch-ups here and there even to the stick figure comic because uh, that could be in itself its own comic and so so I added screen tones to to that I added some shadings but that was always going to double as my my thumbnail so I wasn't really planning on, on putting that out there but I can if if, if I choose to uh, if you want to see it as a stick for your comic uh, I can put it in a PDF and uh, just put it up put a link somewhere <laughs> but yeah the whole purpose of this is not you know to to be lazy it's not to just uh, you know take the easy way out if you're just starting if you're even if, if you've already been drawing for a while but you're stuck on something uh, yeah I would suggest just start off with basic stick figures you know pretty much they're they're your construction lines so start off with that and if you just want to do a quick little comic do a one page or a four page comic uh, with just stick figures, plan out you know what your what your story is gonna be. Uh, I think I will do another video where I talk about you know just getting story ideas, um, but I will touch on that right now uh, quickly. The story for this one for a citizen critter. Like I said, I was just kind of just just drawing and just uh, you know drawing some some basic uh, scenarios. So I just took a common saying, you know, it is kind of a joke, so I use it as a joke. Uh, so, so that is my one of my uh, quick tips. <laughs> um, use jokes. Uh, you know, even if you think it's a corny joke, uh, just use the joke as your punchline and to just set up the story beforehand. The first mini comic that I did uh, also is a joke. The first five pages, not including the uh, cover and back cover. Uh, that was just setting up the scene. Last page, the zinger, and uh, <laughs> and that was it. It's a quick little joke. So yeah, so that will be my my writing tip if you're looking for writing ideas. Uh, just uh, use some jokes. <laughs> I did take roughly two days to to finish it because I I did want to put it out there already. Just a quick little story, uh, four pages. I did want it uh, to look good. You know I. I hope it looks good. I think it looks good. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't trying to just to develop a whole world around it. I just wanted to like I just wanted to just uh, do the setup and do the do the punchline and you know hopefully it's it's a good little good little read. <laughs> so so I did do that comic a lot quicker than it would usually take me. But that's the point of this video. You can make a, a simple comic, a quick comic in a short amount of time. The first step is just to start and and then putting in commitment putting in dedication i did buckle down and i spent uh, two days just uh, getting those pages uh, done having those stick figure pages already uh done and laid out beforehand before i did the actual uh comic adding details and, and, and all that stuff 
uh, that helped a lot that cut down the the time a, a lot so uh, <laughs> don't worry it's not the best comic just let it be your first comic and go from there so <laughs> thanks for watching hope you like this video leave a comment leave a like share this out if you think it will benefit someone and uh, stay creative